Hello everybody, my name is John Parkinson and I would like to welcome you to the WordPress Community Interview Series and I have a very special guest with me today, uh, I, uh, Petya. I would like to say thank you for agreeing to uh, talk to me today and if you don't mind would you please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi John and thank you so much for inviting me. It's a, <laughs> it's a pleasure talking yes. to you uh, today. Uh, yes, my name is Petya. I'm Bulgarian. I am um, located in Sofia most of the time, although I do travel a lot, so um, you can't count on uh, you know, <laughs> finding me in Sofia if you visit, <laughs> unless, unless you ping me a couple of weeks before, yeah. uh, and I'll make sure I'll be there. Uh, but uh, yes, I am a project manager at Human Made, which is a distrib distributed WordPress agency. We only do WordPress. and. Um, we work with a lot of enterprise clients, and uh, part of my time, uh, luckily, is dedicated to contributing back to WordPress. And uh, I am working with the Polyglot team primarily, and also organizing events. Um, among them, uh, the one that's closest to my heart is WordCamp Europe. Yes. Uh, it's like my favorite, like the mo my most favorite WordPress event in the whole world. Oh, that's <laughs> really honored to be able to be a part of its organizing team as well. That's great. That's great. And you actually gave the uh, kickoff uh, speech at WordCamp Europe, um, and I, I did get to listen to that. Uh, and uh, how many people were involved in the uh, uh, the team that organized WordCamp Europe? This year, we had 20 organizers and a lot of volunteers as well, uh, about 160 volunteers. Wow. So, yeah, it was amazing. The event grew uh, more than 100% wow. since, like, 2015. Um, I think it was Vienna, but it's also, like, we we organize a great event every year, so like a lot of people, the more central it goes, the more people want to uh, to come. But yes, the team was uh, exceptional this year. Uh, Twenty people from different countries, different time zones, different backgrounds: developers, non-developers, managers, uh, marketers, designers, all different types of events. Uh, of, sorry, of people that um, all work with WordPress in a different way. So um, the team's been growing for a couple of years, and uh, we had the biggest team ever uh, this year. And Paris is going to be even bigger. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, and that's uh, for two thousand. 17, right? That is for 2017, yes. And, and is that up on the uh, WordCamp Cent Central wor uh, website yet? Yeah, it is. Tickets cool. are already on sale, 300 already gone. So uh, if you're interested in going to Paris, you better hurry and get yeah. your tickets. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, um, I know that you are um, a, a, a huge advocate of giving back to the WordPress community. And I have watched, uh, to, to get some background information, I've watched uh, some of your videos uh, on WordPress TV. Um, can you tell, uh, tell us a little bit about your feelings on giving back to the uh, community? Of course. Um, I, my primary feeling about giving back is that um, by doing it, you kind of make the project yours so it feels a lot different once you've contributed something uh, of yourself of your time of your skills uh, you kind of feel closer uh, to all the people that you're doing it uh, with but also WordPress is a little bit like you can say WordPress is mine you know I make WordPress uh, yeah. so it's a wonderful wonderful feeling um, and also, it gets you um, a lot of knowledge. Um, you get to meet amazing people. You get to learn so much. So much. So, for me, uh, it started as just a couple of translations from English to Bulgarian. But at WordCamp Europe 2013, it grew into something a lot different when I actually met other contributors for the first time. Oh, neat. Um, yeah, that this is how this is how I got hooked. Uh, WordCamp Europe is where I started like really getting into contributing more of my time, not not only for translations, but also for like helping um, the translation efforts uh, globally. Uh -huh. Great, great. And, and I know that also you have uh, uh, some videos on WordPress TV about um, viewing WordPress as a global project. Um, and I know there's a lot of effort going into that uh, 
Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, that effort? Of course. Um, WordPress is global uh, since almost since its origin, and this is one of the reasons why it's so big. Uh, the efforts that the core team put into making sure that uh, Word, WordPress is actually uh, properly internationalized, uh, those were the very early stage. And this is one of the things that made a huge difference when comparing uh, WordPress to other um content management systems that existed at this point. And then uh, almost immediately after that started, uh, the translation effort started with uh, WordPress being almost immediately completed, trans translated into Japanese and German. Uh, those were the two uh, first translations with like the French and the uh, Portuguese following uh, close and uh, leading to today when you can use WordPress fully, absolutely functional in 80 languages, and there are 160 languages that we're working on currently to uh, make sure that WordPress is available to um, more, more and more, more and more people globally. It's yeah. actually, if you think about internationalization and localization, it's an accessibility uh, feature of WordPress um, that allows it to reach um, a lot more people that otherwise wouldn't be able to use it. Fantastic. And I know that is a huge effort. And just like a lot of other, other teams, uh, there's a lot of people uh, working behind the scenes. Uh, but uh, it's easy to see that uh, uh, it is gaining ground. Uh, the last I'd heard, there was like 75 or 76 languages. And you say now there's 80. Uh, well, we have, like, it's different. You can look at it uh, from a different perspective because um, WordPress, I would say WordPress is fully functional and, you can, and it can be used um, in, in its entirety if it's uh, about 80% translated because a lot of the error messages and a lot of the back end and a lot of uh, the stuff that only this is only visible for developers doesn't really need to be fully translated for uh, users okay. to be able to take advantage of WordPress. So if you look if you look at our stats and how many languages we have uh, that are more than 80% translated, those are even more than 80 languages. Okay. Um, so it goes up and down. Um, the thing is. Um, um, language pack needs to be released for a particular version of WordPress to be available on install or uh, in the dashboard for people to switch to. Uh, so that only happens if the language has been released for the last uh, two versions. Otherwise, uh, it disappears and is considered inactive. But the, currently, we have more than 80 active uh, okay active languages that you can actually use uh, from the dashboard and you can install WordPress in. Okay, great, great. That is something I did not know. I appreciate you letting us uh, know that. Yep, uh, definitely. And, and if somebody wanted to become involved in uh, WordPress and donate some of their time, um, and let's just, you know, they're a, they're a user, they're not a designer or a developer, uh, you know, they don't necessarily have to become involved in the core or themes or plugins. What are some of the other areas that people could uh, uh, donate some time and give back to the WordPress project? Well, I like to say that there is one universal thing that everyone can do, and that is support. Uh, because there is something that everyone knows better than somebody else, even though... Uh, you might not be a designer or a developer. A lot of people, if you look at support threads, so many of them are just people being confused and not knowing where to log in or how to change their password. And if you think about it, even core developers started contributing to WordPress by fixing a typo. Uh, so if you are not a developer, the best way to start is, uh, unless you speak another language, mm -hmm. uh, in which case I would... Uh, come like like politely invite you to join us in the polyglot team uh you should go help the support team wordpress is enormous it's huge and uh there's so much amazing effort going into helping people for free uh to be able to like use it and uh, take the most advantage of it so support is uh an, an area that you can contribute to wordpress tv is another area that you can contribute to as you uh, very well know yeah. um and also Organizing events is an yes. amazing way to contribute. 
uh, organizing a local meetup or just uh, organizing a gathering in a cafe where people discuss WordPress or talk about WordPress. That's how everything starts. And then you gather more and more people, uh, talk about more and more advanced subjects, and uh, then you organize a WordCamp, and then you organize a global WordCamp. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but organizing events is an amazing way. Organizing any sort of event uh, is an amazing way to give back uh, to the project because that's also like... Um, you know, you help nourish the community, which is the core part yes. of why WordPress is so strong these days. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I, I'll tell you what, I have one other question, but I'm going to uh, wait on that. Uh, do you have anything uh, that you would like to add uh, be before we wrap things up here? Yes, I would like to say that uh, the Polyglot team is organizing, it's, it's been done already, but like the Polyglot team is organizing something that's called Global WordPress Translation Day. Yes. And that is something that even people that speak English can get involved with because we are trying to bridge the gap between plugin authors and team authors and translators and help those two groups of contributors get together and work together together. Uh, you know, in the best way possible. So uh, the next one we're planning for November. The first one happens in April. All the videos from the first one are on WordPress TV. Yes. So if you're a plugin author wondering how to uh, get involved and like how to connect with the translation community, there are a lot of um, a lot of talks from Global WordPress Translation Day that can uh, help you with that. And um, the next one is scheduled for November okay. uh, for now in the very early stages. But yes, uh, look Great. forward to that. And it's going to have more development content as well and more ways for translators and developers to interact and work together. Okay, great. And if you don't mind, uh, could you send me a link uh, to that event? Absolutely, and, yes. And I'll include that in uh, with the uh, when I publish the videos. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Great. I Fantastic. will send you. I will send you a link to uh, the selection of videos in WordPress TV, and also we have like a small external site that showed uh, a little bit of stats about how the first one uh, okay. went. Yeah. It went great. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. And n now the the most important question that I had uh, uh, that I wanted to ask uh, while I was talking to you, uh, I understand that you are a huge fan of carrot cake. Oh my god! <laughs> Where? I actually have a list of where, of like places that make the best carrot cake in the okay. world. <laughs> where Where in the world is the best piece of carrot cake? Uh, it's in a small um, in a small restaurant in Amsterdam called Foodism that is actually owned by a Serbian guy, uh, and it's fantastic. Oh, their tiramisu is also amazing, but the carrot cake, yes. Okay. Where Oh, about the carrot cake. Okay. The restaurant is called Foodism. It's in. Uh, it's very central in uh, in Amsterdam. Great, great. I, I I thought that might be a uh, uh, something to uh, giggle about. Uh, and, and I saw <laughs> that on your profile or uh, wherever I saw yeah, it. So. so it's carrot cake and chocolate, and uh, you know well, I'm I, I'm all sorted. Uh, this is kind of you know if, if somebody would uh, would bribe me someday <laughs> with something. Okay. Uh, it would be either a carrot cake or chocolate. Okay. All right. it's, happened, so it's happened already, oh, yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> a couple of people can tell you more about it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, if, if you don't have anything else to add, I'm going to end here in a few seconds. And I do appreciate your time. Uh, this was fantastic. Uh, I hope someday to uh, meet you. And uh, uh, you know, hopefully that will happen. And uh, uh, we'll get together and chat about this. Right. Well, I just wanted to say uh, thank you again for inviting me and thank you very much for doing this. This is extremely important for people to see the faces of the yes. uh, of the global international community. And I am happy to point you in the direction of other, uh, like some really amazing people that you can talk to. Fantastic. <laughs> I do appreciate that. And uh, thank you again and uh, take care. You too. Thanks, John. Bye. Bye.